So I think what we want to do in West Yorkshire is really be innovative and world leading in our approach to including communities, including regional stakeholders, along with world leading researchers to deliver flood solutions. And what we're hoping will happen is then that other regions in the UK and then also globally, we'll pick up on the techniques that we're using, so the solutions we're developing, but also the way we engage with partners to solve and resolve flood problems in regions across the globe. Collaboration in events and projects and partnerships such as this are really, really important. When we have different people from different groups, different specialisms, different experiences and knowledge bases working together on a common aim, it, it always advances the innovation and the outputs and the understanding of whatever it is and that's, that's the beauty of something like FLIP. I think for the Environment Agency it's, it's been part of something that's quite new and fresh and what's really exciting for us is looking at projects that are very much place-based. So they're projects that look to improve the environment, improve benefits for the community as well as managing flood risk and for us that's really exciting. I think the benefits are raising the profile of flood risk management and some of the opportunities uh, that it could bring and also thinking about how it links in with other agendas so we've had some quite interesting conversations with the board looking at the relationship between digital infrastructure and flooding and that's something that would only accelerate and potentially draw in other investment in the, in the future. FLIP as a programme has brought in just over £600,000 um, worth of funding in the past 18 months um, and we've got over £800,000 currently written into draft bids that we're hoping to submit in the coming months. So it's just fantastic to see all of this funding coming into our region um, to address all these flooding challenges. Natural flood management obviously is aimed at reducing flood risk, so that's really important. But a lot of natural flood management initiatives can, can result in wider benefits. So for example, to biodiversity, to help with nature recovery, might help with health and well-being, and so on. So I think that thinking about natural flood management in a wider perspective, thinking about how we can build climate resilience across the region is really important. I think FLIP's got a really important role to play in that. We've got a number of projects across West Yorkshire which are really looking at sort of green finance, investment opportunities for nature-based solutions. And I think there's a lot of work which we can share and learn from and look at which model types could really work in West Yorkshire. And the one that we've been discussing today is really about how multiple partners are engaging with farmers and landowners and we want to have a more consistent approach in terms of the offer that is being made to those farmers and landowners and how we collaborate and work together. We're relying sometimes on property flood resilience and we need to make that particular measure extremely efficient at working against flood risk. And I think that's why having a, a tool that we'll be developing where we can look at a strategic overview of how those property level measures are actually installed and how they're maintained. I think that would really help us provide that information to residents to make those communities more resilient in themselves. It's important in that with limited resources during some, some events that we can actually respond or know where we need to respond to, to target that response. Basically, it's making use of uh, the LoRa One network, which is a long range wide area network that can link with water level sensors, sensors in gullies that can then relay information back to a dashboard that, that means we can actually remotely test when water and floods are happening, levels of water, so we can respond better. The community and voluntary sector theme uh, it really aims at empowering uh, communities uh, to create resilience. For me, resilience in flood risk is all about layers. So today at the FLIP we've, we've looked at PFR, early warning systems, um, and these are all layers of resilience. And when you get past all those layers, you get to the people and, and the communities themselves. That's where I think the mental health and wellbeing project within this theme has come about. There's just a difference in our ability, our collective ability, to do innovation and to do positive things in West Yorkshire as a result of having FLIP. And I think there are you know, some real tangible examples of things that just wouldn't have happened if we didn't have FLIP.
I think they're giving us that, that energy and enthusiasm to do more of that. The model is working and that additional capacity in the region just wouldn't have been there. And, and we're seeing the benefits of that already, but I think there's a lot, a lot more to come.